Well, here we're going to do a couple more problems on the order of operations. And keep in mind the order of operations, please, for parentheses, excuse for exponents, my dear multiplication division, Aunt Sally, A for addition, S for subtraction, and you work left to right. So, let's see. Let's deal with this guy. So we've got negative 4. Well, negative 4 is negative 4. There's nothing to do with that. And by the way, I need to connect these with an equal sign. Uh, ooh, we've got this negative outside of these brackets. Well, brackets corresponds to parentheses. And so we've got a two here and nothing to do with that at the moment but now we have a product here and so we have to simplify that product now are we going to multiply four times negative six or subtract four from negative six well multiplication comes before addition so we'll multiply these and a positive four times a negative six that's a nod number of negatives in that product, so that's going to be negative and 24. And now we have this still this negative 4 there and uh, minus and the absolute value. So exponents come before addition or subtraction or multiplication. So if we square uh, 2 we get 4 minus. Now do we subtract 5 from 4 or do we multiply 5 times 2? Well, the order of operations says multiplication before addition or subtraction. So 5 times 2 is 10. Absolute values of that. Now let's start all over again. The negative 4, there's, you know, it's just negative 4. There's no other option available. This negative in front of, front of the parentheses, no other option available. But now, inside the parentheses, we can uh, 2 minus 24. Well, positive 2 minus 24 is going to be negative 22, isn't it? And we still have this minus 4 here. And let's see, will you agree 4 minus 10 and the negative sign in front of these absolute values. 4 minus 10 is negative 6. Okay. Well, let's keep going. So negative 4 minus, oh, that minus sign is there. Now, negative 22 minus 24, will you agree that's negative 26? And let's see, the absolute value of negative 6 is 6, but the coefficient on that's negative. Absolute value, notice, absolute value of negative 6 equals 6. But we have a negative sign in front of that, so that's going to be negative 6. And let's keep going. Here's our friend, negative 4, negative. Let's simplify inside the parentheses or brackets before we can do anything else. By the way, I can write a set of parentheses here if I want. And negative 26 minus 6 is negative 32. Oh, boy. Now we've got negative 4, and it says we have to work out the uh, parentheses. Well, they're already worked out, so now we just have a negative times a negative. Well, that's an even number of negatives in that product, and so that's going to be a positive 32. And finally, we can deal with this negative 4. Negative 4 plus 32 is 28, isn't it? So check my work. I think we have it. Let's do another one. And here it is. So this is the second of our two problems. So this is equals 6 times this thing. Well, let's start right up here. Negative 8, negative 4. The, hey, we can go ahead and combine those. That's negative 12, isn't it? Plus 
a negative 4. So positive times a negative 4 is a negative 4. Minus, now we have to go inside the brackets and work this stuff out. So we have this minus 4, nothing we can do with that. But uh, here we have a product, and we have to deal with the uh, multiplication before addition and subtraction. And that's a double negative, so that's going to be a plus 3, isn't it? Now let's go downstairs, and this says uh, 4 squared exponents come before division or addition. So that's 16 plus 3 squared is 9 divided by 5. Well, that's going to be times 1 fifth, isn't it? So here we go, 6. And now, negative 12, negative 4 is negative 16. And minus, and we have this minus 4 plus 3 is a minus 1, isn't it? And 16 plus 9 is 25 times 1 fifth. That's the same as 25 divided by 5, isn't it? So this equals 6, and I'll put this little time symbol. We don't really need it. But anyhow, will you agree this is going to be negative 16 minus times a minus is a plus, plus 1 over. And will you also agree 5 goes into 25 5 times? So we have 6 times. And now we have negative 16 plus 1. Well, that's negative 15. And that's divided by 5. And 5, 6 times, 5 goes into 15 3 times. And that's a negative 3, isn't it? So times negative 3. And that equals 6 times negative 3. Well, the product's going to be negative because we have an odd number of negative factors. And 6 times 3 is 18. And we are done.